What's up, Tiger fans? It's Morgan here with The Morgan Thomas Show. And this time, I wanted to discuss a topic that has been interesting me this week, considering it's rivalry week versus South Carolina. Can Shane Beamer beat Clemson this weekend at 12 p.m. in Death Valley? The South Carolina Gamecocks are coming off their biggest win of the 2022 football season, beating then number five Tennessee 63 to 38 under the lights at Willie B. This was the only the seventh time in South Carolina's history that they've beaten a top five team for the program. The 63 points were the most in an SEC game by the Gamecocks since 1995 when they beat Mississippi State 65-39. This win has rejuvenated the Gamecock fan base and has seen them ready to play upset for their bitter rivals, the Clemson Tigers. Clemson is currently on a seven-game winning streak in the series and in the last season beat the Gamecocks in their home stadium 30 to nothing. You heard it, zero points, nada, no touchdowns, no scores. That's a lot less than 63. Head coach Shane Beamer is just in his second season at South Carolina, but has already beaten expectations by analysts. They finished last season off strong with a bowl win over North Carolina in the Duke's Mayo Bowl that resulted in Shane Beamer getting that famous Mayo bath after the game, and a 7-6 and six overall record. In 2022, the Gamecocks have once again surprised many analysts and fans by going 7-4 and four with an outside chance of finishing the season with nine total wins. How did Shane Beamer get here? Let's take a look back. Shane Beamer was born March 31st, 1977, and is the son of former Virginia Tech football coach Frank Beamer. At the time, Cheryl and Frank lived in Charleston, South Carolina, and his father was a defensive line coach for the Citadel Bulldogs. In 1987, his father was named the head coach of the Virginia Tech Hokies, and the family moved to Blacksburg, Virginia. He attended Blacksburg High School, where he lettered in both football and baseball, and was first-team group AA All-State receiver, and played in the 1995 Virginia High School All-Star football game. Beamer chose to walk on as a wide receiver at Virginia Tech over an offer of a partial scholarship from Division I AA Charleston Southern. Later, he moved to long snapper, the position he played during the Hokies' 1999 season, in which they played for a national championship. Following Beamer's playing career, he became a graduate assistant at Georgia Tech under George O'Leary, a two-time ACC Coach of the Year. From 2021 to 2023, Shane served as graduate assistant under Philip Fulmer at the University of Tennessee back when the Volunteers were really in their prime and winning the SEC East regularly. In 2004, Beamer was hired by Sylvester Croom at Mississippi State to coach cornerbacks, three of whom earned all SEC freshman honors. In 2006, he assumed the role of recruiting coordinator and brought in a class that included Anthony Dixon, who would go on to play for the San Francisco 49ers and the Buffalo Bills. In 2007, Shane made his appearance at South Carolina, but this time as an outside linebackers coach under Steve Spurrier and special teams coordinator. In 2008, the Gamecock defense finished second in pass defense and 13th in total defense nationally. His 2009 special teams unit blocked five kicks, tying for the SEC lead and ranking eighth in the nation, while the Gamecock defensive unit finished third in the SEC in total defense and 15th in the nation. In his final two years at Columbia, Beamer also served as a recruiting coordinator for the Gamecocks, the 2009 class was ranked 12th best in the nation by Scout.com and Rivals.com and included future NFL draft picks Stephon Gilmore and Alshon Jeffrey. Both of the 2010 and 2011 recruiting classes ranked in the top 25, including future South Carolina stars and NFL players Marcus Lattimore and Connor Shaw. After success at South Carolina, Beamer left to join his father back in Blacksburg in 2011 as the running backs coach. In his first year, he coached the school's single-season rushing holder, All-American and ACC Player of the Year, David Wilson. In 2016, Beamer was hired to serve on Kirby Smart staff as the tight ends coach and special teams coordinator. In 2018, the University of Oklahoma came calling and hired Beamer to be assistant head coach under Lincoln Riley. And then finally, on December 6, 2020, University of South Carolina Athletic Director Ray Tanner announced that the school had hired Beamer as its head coach. In his first year as coach, the Gamecocks finished 6-6 six and six in the regular season with upset wins over Florida and Auburn. 
The Gamecocks achieved bowl eligibility for the first time since 2018. Beamer wrapped up the season with a 38-21 victory over North Carolina in the Duke's Mayo Bowl. 2022 was projected to be between a 5-7 season and a 7-5 season. Beamer obviously has reached the ceiling already according to that, but there are games left to be played. There have been a few lows like losing to Missouri at home and not having a pulse against Florida, where offensive coordinator Marcus Satterfield has been put on the hot seat. And there have been highs like the game against Tennessee where they scored 63 points and their starting quarterback Spencer Rattler had a program-defining game where he threw for 436 yards, six touchdowns, and zero interceptions. All that has led up to the game on Saturday where South Carolina will travel to Clemson for a 12 p.m. game against the Tigers. Eighth in the nation, 10 and 1 versus South Carolina, 7 and 4. The matchup predictor for ESPN has Clemson as a heavy favorite, 88.9% chance of winning. Vegas also has Clemson as a favorite at 14 and a half points. It'll be a nice day in Clemson Memorial Stadium. Partly cloudy with 57 degree weather. The Gamecocks and Spencer Rattler are going to try to continue their momentum that they found versus Tennessee and finally beat their rival, ending their seven game winning streak. Clemson, on the other hand, comes in with a two game winning streak against Miami and Louisville and one of the nation's best defenses. So let me know what you think in the comments. Will Shane Beamer in just his second season be able to end the streak? Or will this be the eighth win against South Carolina for the Clemson Tigers? And if you like this video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of my exclusive Clemson content I put out every single week.